uh, hello guys uh, do you want to learn how to implement this beautiful morphing animation from play to pose and reverse well stay tuned because I have created step-by-step -step guide for you also all the resources I used in this video are uploaded on github so the link will be located down in the description for you uh, hello guys and uh, welcome to another video in this video as you saw in that in that preview we are going to uh, animate uh, uh, play to pause and pause to play icons so I have already created the pause and play uh, SVGs in Adobe XD and now we are going to import them in a shapeshifter design so uh, okay if you don't know what the shapeshifter is uh, check out my first uh, video uh, about uh, morphing animations and all stuff you need to know about it uh, so we have those two uh, paths we are going to remove uh, pause and uh, we're going to select play uh, SVG file and we're going to paste uh, the pause path data here in two value field and uh, end time will be 300 uh, interpolator will be uh, decelerate and now we can start and uh, creating our first animation the first animation is uh, morphing from play to pause so uh, now uh, select this element and click this uh, scissors uh, here and uh, you're going to choose the middle click and drag uh, right on the left side so and uh, now we're going to get uh, two sub paths as you can see here uh, so in order to make this uh, two compatible we need to click auto fix button and it will add a bunch of uh, red points uh, here for us so those two are now compatible as you can see they are uh, morphing uh, pretty smoothly when I click slow motion uh, that's pretty good animation for me yeah all right let's watch it again it looks uh, very fine so this will be our first file for morphing to uh, from play to pause as you can see it's uh, perfectly created so now we're going to export this uh, animation to uh, android uh, uh, to animated uh, vector drawable file but before that we're going to change the file name to um, play to pause this will be our first animation so now click export and export as uh, animated vector drawable click save and now we're going to create a new project here and we're going to create a second animation which will be uh, morphing reverse from pause to play we're going to select the same two uh, SVGs but this time we are going to delete the uh, the play SVG and we're going to copy its uh, path data so we can uh, paste it uh, here on uh, our pause uh, SVG file now select uh, path data and uh, we're going to paste uh, that value and we're going to choose the decelerate uh, interpolator and time will be uh, 300 milliseconds uh, as well so now we're going to change this uh, uh, file name to pause to play and we're going to select uh, the path data on the timeline and uh, click this little uh, edit icon so we're going to edit this um, uh, just click uh, this auto fix button and it will automatically add as much points uh, as we need to uh, to make those two uh, icons compatible as you can see it's morphing from pause to play like that and uh, there is okay i think uh, we should uh, change uh, those red spots places a little bit so i will move this here and uh, the third point on the top left i think uh, we should move that point um, on the left top corner so it uh, should look smoothly Okay, just a little bit more on the top 
and now let's try it out yeah I, I think uh, it's way better now so we can uh, finally export this uh, second uh, animation file XML file so go back and uh, export this file as uh, animated vector drawable as well of course okay so now that we have exported those uh, two files uh, we can finally uh, go to Android Studio and uh, start uh, coding alright so in the main activity I have uh, just one image view so uh, it's centered on the screen and now we're going to switch from Android to project view so we can uh, import our animation XML files okay just choose project now uh, navigate to uh, resource drawable directory okay oh, sorry cancel uh, resource drawable folder okay so now I will try to drag and drop those two files here inside the drawable folder all right just click OK and that's it we can go back to uh, Android view now and uh, the most important thing to do uh, go to model uh, to gradle build uh, module application and we need to add uh, one more line of code here so it's a uh, vector drawables uh, dot use support library equals to true this will help us execute uh, this animation without any issues so uh, uh, be sure to add this in your project as well and uh, now we're going to navigate to main activity java class to um, to start with the code so first create uh, one image view uh, and now we're going to create uh, animated vector drawable compact object we will name it avd and we're going to create another uh, object which will be animated vector drawable but non compact it will be named avd2 and uh, finally uh, we're going to create one integer uh, named switch number we will give it um, a value to zero and now in onCreate method we're going to find the ID of our uh, image view and uh, after that we're going to um, use uh, onClick listener for our uh, image view as well and uh, all the function will be uh, executed inside this onClick listener so type image view dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside this on click method uh, we're going to create uh, if block so um, let's say if switch number is equals to zero which is the first time we run the application and we're going to create the else block as well so in the first block uh, first if block we're going to um, use uh, image view uh, set uh, image drawable uh, method we're going to get uh, resources get the drawable and we're going to locate our uh, our uh, animation XML file which is uh, AVD play to pause okay and now now we're going to create a drawable uh, object so type drawable we're going to name this object uh, drawable equals to image view dot get drawable oh, all right uh, now we're going to create another if block inside this main if block so if a drawable instance of uh, animated vector drawable compact is true then we're going to execute some code and uh, of course we're going to add else if so else if uh, drawable instance of uh, animated vector drawable but not compact so what uh, does this mean is uh, that we are made our morphing animation uh, works on both of the older devices uh, that's why we use compact uh, class so inside this first if block we're going to say avd or animated vector drawable equals to uh, drawable and uh, we're going to start this animation like that and in this else if uh, block we're going to do the same but just for 
uh, the second uh, class animated vector drawable, non compact. We're going to use the same code and we're getting some error. That's uh, because uh, this uh, code requires uh, your uh, Android uh, OS version to be uh, 21 uh, API level. And that's why we have also implemented the uh, animated vector drawable compact version so the other device could uh, execute this uh, animation as well. So in the main this uh, in main uh, if block in else block sorry uh, okay now we're going to add the uh, switch number plus plus which will increase the number of uh, our integer to one and uh, here we're going to copy and paste uh, the code from previous block copy the, this whole code here and uh, we're going to add just switch number minus minus so when, whenever we run our application for the first time and when we click our image view uh, it will execute the first animation in if block and uh, it will change the integer number to 1 and when we click another time the second time image view it will change the integer number from 1 to 0 back again and it will uh, execute another uh, animation so you will see now uh, what I just did there just the second uh, until my uh, emulator devices come online okay I'm going to run now to see um, if it's working correctly. Okay, now let's click it on the image view, as you can see. Uh, okay, I think we, we have a problem. Uh, it's because I forgot to uh, add the second uh, animation file, which is uh, pause to play. And now it should work like a charm. Okay, as you can see now, when you click back again, it will morph, morph back from uh, pause to play. As you can see, it goes back and forth without any issues. Uh, so that's it. Um, thank you for watching, guys. If you find this video helpful, please like it. And of course, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, if you want to see more great content like this. And that was it. Uh, see you in the next video.